Hello, Pisces. I hope you guys are doing well. This will be a general love reading for the sign of Pisces. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Do not try to force this message to fit. Uh, with that being said, let's get on to the reading. All right. <clears throat> Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for the sign of Pisces? What messages do you have for the sign of Pisces? You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Well, so I'm getting it. The message that I'm getting is that you guys are like, it's like you guys feel that you're like right there. It's like you guys sense, um, what I'm getting is that these, like the message coming up uh, is for my single Pisces um, because you guys are not in connection with your soulmate at this time. This is someone that you have not met. You guys, it's like you're lonely at this time. And it's like because they're in two separate directions. It's like you guys are like at this point where it's like, oh, my God, it's like, when am I finally going to meet the right person? But it's like you guys are touching each other. You're right there. You're right there at the point where you guys have are about to meet each other. It's like you just don't realize it yet that you're right there. You guys, if only you turned around, you know. But you guys haven't realized it yet that you're right at that point where you guys have met your soulmate. Some of you guys have met the person, but it hasn't hit you yet. Because it's like you haven't like fully awakened, you haven't fully healed. And sometimes it's it, you like we think because um, it's like when you have over fantasize um the spiritual realm and you haven't fully awakened you haven't fully learned and fully healed it's like you think you're gonna just um be hit you know and everything's gonna magically work out that's not how it worked because it's like there's there's also a logical aspect um with the spiritual realm as well so it's like you can meet your soulmate and if you haven't healed, it's like you'll be right next to that person and you'll still be attracted to your a karmic. You'll still be attracted to someone that's toxic. You'll still fall for the wrong person. You can still fall for, um, you can still be catfished. You can still fall for, you know, the wrong thing. And you be right there with your soulmate. So I'm getting that it's like you guys are right there at that point where you guys are about to um, end up with your soulmate. But you still haven't fully awakened to it at this point. All right. Let's see what other, what other messages do. That's what I'm get. Yeah, but I'm definitely getting that a lot of you have been, and your soulmate as well, they're definitely waiting for the right person too. Um, because your person, when you meet them, it's like they're a spiritual being as well. They want to, they don't want to just be with anyone. They want to make sure that it's the right connection. 
but there are lessons to be learned before you guys can come together. So it's like you guys are at the point where it's like, huh, you're just growing impatient. But we have a leaf here. So we're in fall. So some of you guys are right there at the time. And it's like when the time is right, red being highlighted, right. So some of you guys are, it's about to happen right now. Ooh. I'll take this one too. So we have evolution. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your love path. And so that's what you guys have been doing. It's like you guys have been through a lot of obstacles. Some of you guys have been through like um, some crazy relationship after relationship after relationship um, where you guys had to learn lesson after lesson. And it's just like, when am I finally going to end up with the right person? And it's like, now you guys are coming to a place, peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. You guys are at that point where it's like, you guys have finally, it's like a place of harmony, peace, and harmony in your life. It's like, you no longer are just, it's not the fact that it's like, you're no longer entertaining any nonsense, not even in a romantic sense, but in your life in general, it's like you realize, uh, you acknowledge when people are intentionally doing things to upset you, to intentionally, um, you know, do things to harm you. And instead of allowing it to uh, upset you, to aggravate you, you guys acknowledge it, you release it, you're not allowing it to um, bring you out of your character and you're pushing for, you're focusing on what you need to be focused on instead of allowing yourself to dwell on what this person is trying to bring within your energy. Because you want to remain in balance. You want to, uh, you want to be at peace. You don't want to entertain that energy that these people keep sending your way. Some of you guys have family members. Some of you guys have had friends that you had to let go of. And it's all because you guys have this connection that is coming towards your life. And now you guys, it's like some of you guys are realizing that the reason why you guys have not met the right person is because of these other karmic relationships. Because some people think karmic relationship just uh, is... Um, regarding love but no that also involves family and friends as well so some of you guys are realizing that the reason why you guys have not attracted the right soulmate into your life is because of the other type of karmic relationships you guys were still uh, um, attached to sometimes when you guys are who this came right out pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone so some like now you guys are finally starting to take pride within yourself and i don't mean that by like you guys never took pride um like you guys never took care of yourself before but i mean that in a way that you guys are finally like giving yourself permission to release relationships that no longer serve you. Where in the past you felt like you were obligated to hold on to certain people out of duty, out of you were always taught to do it, but now you're saying, no, no, if it doesn't serve my highest good, then I'm releasing it. I'm releasing it. Because just like I'm obligated to do what's right to you, you're obligated to do what's right to me. If I'm not bringing you toxic energy, then you don't have the right to bring me a toxic energy. You're holding people accountable because you also hold yourself accountable. And you're teaching people how you deserve to be treated because you're treating yourself the right way as well. Whew. Which one do we want? Yeah, 
this one. Okay. What messages regarding love do you have for Pisces spirit? For love and truth. What messages do you have for Pisces spirit? Love and truth. So, in the first position, we have current energy, the Empress in reverse. So, currently, it's like I'm getting that you guys are still in the process of learning, like, how to, um, like, give yourself um, the loving and nurturing energy that you deserve. It's like you guys are so used to um, loving and nurturing like towards others it's like being there for others it's like it's hard for you guys to be there for yourself it's hard for you guys to um withdraw your energy from others to be there for yourself to show up for yourself to be loving and nurturing for yourself which is what the universe is asking you guys to do right now and it's like you guys are finding that difficult, right? It's really difficult for you guys to do that right now. What happened here in the recent past? Here in the recent past, you guys have the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like here in the recent past, I'm saying like in the recent past, you guys had like some boss up energy. It's like in the recent past, I'm saying that you guys did like disassociate yourself with a lot of people either. Some of you guys, I'm definitely saying that you guys disassociated with several people. Um, so the odd thing is, is that how you guys are going through this phase now where you guys are struggling with disassociating um, or withdrawing your energy, it's like maybe you guys go through like these up, ups and downs, this battle within, but you guys did have a level up. You guys bossed up. It's like money's looking good. You guys leveled up. Um, definitely like your social status in life. Um, a higher social status in life, like people looking at you, like look at what this, like look at what Pisces is doing. Like they bossed up, um, they're glowing. It's like your appearance changed. It's like you got it going on. It's like you are holding people accountable for themselves. Um, and it's like, whether they like it or not, it's like you aren't dealing with any excuses because some of you guys, it's like, it's like boss up and get your life together. It's like, that's, it's like, that's in the recent past. It's like very practical energy. It's like you realize whatever you put your mind to, you guys are capable of achieving so you guys were just very logical here in the recent past about whatever you wanted to achieve. It's like, okay, if I want to do this, how can I do it? What steps do I, it's like you just wrote it out. What do you need to do in order to accomplish it? And you guys really bossed up. Your money was looking great. And I mean, you guys were looking great. Everything was looking great for you guys. What's the current challenge going on? So your current challenge here right now, 
there some of you guys there's a lack of commitment in your relationship some of you guys the reason for this lack of commitment is due to you guys share different values you guys have different um views regarding how you view a relationship how you view life your traditions your religions um the way you grew up you guys have different views of life in general and it's causing a separation um or it's causing issues challenges in your relationship at this time it's causing conflicts in your relationship at this time so uh, I mean, it's causing these disagreements. It's just that you guys cannot agree on your values, your views. It's like some of you guys don't even fully openly express that um, you guys don't agree fully with your spouse. You guys just have, some of you guys have like kind of kept it to yourself or maybe you guys went along with it just to keep things peaceful. But it's like, now it's just like you know it's you're finding yourself and you don't want to be that person anymore but for the ones of you that you guys weren't like that it's like you guys argued with this person about it and it's like some of you like you don't want to be traditional and your person wants to be traditional they're very traditional or some of you guys you're traditional, your person isn't traditional, um, you want to start your own traditions. It's just a matter of a difference of um, opinion, a difference of views, um, and it's causing conflicts within your relationships at this current moment. Let's see what's currently on your mind. I mean, Pisces, it's like currently you you don't see that it's worth fighting for. I mean, I'm saying that you guys, you don't see um, that this is worth fighting for. Like you guys are ready to just toss in the towel. You guys are ready to toss in the towel. Some of you guys is, some of you guys, um, Some of you guys, you feel like your person makes you feel like, like they have affected your confidence. Like they get attention from other people and, or you feel like they're not, they don't fight for you and it affects your confidence somewhere is like affecting your confidence your confidence and that's why you don't really you're ready to toss in the towel regarding this because it's like you know your self-worth and you want someone that values your self-worth it's like you're not willing to settle it's so it's like the environmental factors that's, that's I'm getting that it's like you guys can tend to be like over critical of each other it's like somewhere along the line, either the people around you guys, like um, there's like a lot of either you guys can be talking to your friends and family about um, your relationship and then you guys are getting like other people's um, opinions regarding this relationship and then they're... So it's like it's more people involved in this relationship, their opinion involved in this relationship. Yeah. 
and you guys just overcritical of each other or one of you guys are just, yeah, it's, it's like too much criticism, judgment placed on each other. And then plus you guys can be going back and talking about your relationship to other people as well. Your fears regarding this relationship is the chariot in reverse. So it's like you do want this relationship. You do hope that you guys um, overcome these obstacles. You do. It, it's like you do want success. It's like so it's like your fears is that these obstacles that you guys are currently facing you fear that you guys won't overcome these obstacles and that this relationship won't be um, successful, that you guys won't overcome. I mean, your fear is that you guys won't overcome these current obstacles, basically. What are your hopes for this relationship? of water oh you love your person you love your person i'm getting that it's like you 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 love this person um you have a lot of memories with this person some of you guys have been with this person for a long time some of you guys this is i mean you've been with some of you guys have been with this person for a long time some of you guys, you've known this person since a child. Um, others of you, it's like you feel like this is a soulmate connection. Um, so going back to this message, um, I know like uh, for the ones that are in this relationship, so you guys are not seeing eye to eye right now, but I am seeing this relationship evolving like for you guys to have a peaceful um, agreement. But right now it's like you guys' pride is in the way. It's getting the best of you guys at this time. But it's like, look at this couple in, the, in this picture. It's like you guys are pouting. It's like your pride. But what's, what's in the center of pride and the soulmate is peace and evolution. So it's like really at the heart of the relationship is peace and evolution. It's like truly you guys want what's best for each other. So, you do love your person. And it's like, truly, it's like, when you're alone and it's like, even after a disagreement with your person, it's like you're wishing for the best outcome out of this situation. Their fear, the king of um, wands in reverse, their fear is that they fear that you guys are fed up with them, that you want your independence. Um, they think that you guys want your independence, that you are the ones that um, are tired of being in a relationship. They think that you guys are the, like, players in the relationship basically like that you guys want to play around um you seek your independence that you want to be set free of this Seven of air. 
So there are hopes for this awareness, caution, and consequence, consequences. Um, there are hopes for this is like they plan on being very strategic about this situation. Um, I'm like what I'm picking up is that it's like they plan. They want to be very cautious about how they proceed forward. They don't really know like um, the best move at this current moment. So it's like they don't know how to communicate um, their emotions. They don't know like how to get through to you. They're trying to figure out the best way. So it's like right now they're withholding everything from you because they feel like you want your independence. They feel like they've been too clingy. They feel like if they um, appear clingy or if they appear vulnerable, you'll just attack. So they're trying to be very strategic about how they move because they feel like they're just like awaiting the next attack, you know, from you that the next thing is that you're just gonna, you know, set yourself free or, you know, do something like. They don't know. So they're hoping that they can be wise about this situation proceeding forward and that they receive divine guidance about this situation so that they can make the right move because I'm getting that there's been like other disagreements in the past several disagreements in the past and they're afraid that the next one might be the last chance so they want to make sure that they have they make the right move the next time So, in the near future, you guys have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So, things will be turning around. Um, whatever disagreements you guys have been having, whatever worries um, you guys have been having, it's like things will be turning around for the better in this relationship. Um, it's like if you felt uh, left out in the cold from your partner, um, you guys will be feeling like their warm embrace again. Um, it's like if you guys have been struggling financially and it's been causing stress within your relationship, financially things will be turning around for the better. It's like your finances will start to look up and that way you guys will no longer be stressing over finances and therefore you will no longer be <laughs> annoyed by your partner you know, anymore. In other words, things are turning around for the better in the near future. So within the next three to six months, just depending, um, three, uh, so it, it, it depends on how proactive you are as a person. So if you're not that proactive, then it'll be like six months for you. But if you are a very proactive person and if you are serious about taking the um, guidance that you're given from spirit, then it'll be within the next three months. So it's, it really just depends on how proactive you are. <laughs> so... Your advice from spirit is the strength card in reverse. So your advice is to release your pride, release your ego, release that part of you that wants to be right all the time in the situation, release that part of you that 
is afraid of being hurt, that part of you that is a you know, that is on the fence, that is causing, you know, this relationship to be held back, that's keeping this relationship from moving forward. And of course, you know, your partner is playing their part as well. But we're talking about you because this is about your growth and it's also about your relationship growth because your partner is taking your lead. Um, your relationship is going to end up turning around for the better. But it's all about you taking the guidance that you're being guided to take. So if you remain stubborn and if you um, remain egotistical and if you keep poking the bear and if you keep, you know, um, aggravating, you know, um, the situation, it's not going to make it better, you know. So this is for someone that's going to take the guidance that they're being given to take. And if you remain in this situation where you guys are just being prideful, you're operating out of a state of fear, you're in a low vibrational state, then your situation isn't going to turn around for the better. So Spirit is advising you to put your pride to the side and allow your situation to evolve to a peaceful state of mind. Your most likely outcome is the lovers. The lovers. So, Pisces, it's obviously meant that you and your person is meant to be. <laughs> um, so, I'm saying that there's a divine union between you and this person. Um, your relationship evolving or your connection with you and your person is deepening to a or, you know, a deeper commitment between you and your person. Definitely a soulmate connection between you and this person. Uh, we have evolution here, so evolving to the next level between you and your person. So obviously, whatever you guys are going through, it's going to allow you guys to evolve to the next level um, in this relationship. So... Here in the hidden positions, we have the Ace of Waters in reverse. So the Ace of Waters or the Ace of Cups in reverse um, also rep uh, represents emotions coming to a head. So being like over emotional. Um, now, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it uh, represents it's like at this time, like in like... At this time, it's like whatever emotions that you guys have been holding in will be coming to the surface. Um, and it's for you guys to allow your relationship to um, evolve to the next phase. If you guys want to get to this phase, this divine union of the lovers that you see your relationship coming to. Because if you guys, you can't hold your uh, your emotions and it's, it's time for you guys to like, whatever you guys have been like, whatever values that you don't share with your partner, it's okay. You don't have to share, you know, the same traditions or values or you don't have to agree on everything. You can't agree to disagree, but you should feel comfortable enough to express the way you feel with your partner. And if it's, if you don't feel comfortable and you're holding it in and you're bottling it in and 
you know, emotions boiling over. Whatever is happening now is to allow you guys to evolve to the next phase. Basically, that's what spirit is saying. Because ultimately, that's what's about to happen. So, I am going to pull one oracle message for you guys, Pisces. Okay, the spaces between the words. Okay, let's see what this one is about. When we look for guidance, we look for words that clarify, reassure, and help us find our authentic path through the chaos. Yet there is also guidance in the spaces between the words. Between each letter, between all the happenings in our lives, where there is nothing to be said, where there are no lines to be colored in, where there is just openness, those are the times when we need to freestyle. We need to do or not do. Based on what is happening for us right in the moment, often there is far, to, far less to do than we think. Often we don't need to think. There is a space forming around you now. Sometimes when we sense our subconscious, sometimes when we sense this subconsciously, we feel exhilarated and excited, anxious and nervous, and not even sure why. There is a sense, perhaps, that we wouldn't mind having a map that is unknown terrain. Or perhaps we are happy to wing it and make it up as we go. Either way, there is space to just be. It is a receiver for the divine presence if you have a lot of space of unknowing around you now or within you. Then just know that there is a lot of divine presence to be received. It can't be explained really. It happens between the words and yet without it. There wouldn't be any words, any guidance at all the oracle speaks to you. Enter the space and let go. For your time to receive is upon you. Be blessed. So the poem that goes with it is Day Birth. The eastern rise of time on new birth wings bursts out across the lifeless crowd and sings its climb to heights unknown of beauty, warmth, and power upon its throne. To fade again in western sky, and only for a moment lie before it takes its course again to breathe once more in heart of man. So this is the message that came through for you, Pisces. If this reading resonates, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and um, leave a comment. Thank you guys for tuning in. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you.